I think this actually is gonna work. I feel really, really confident. Moment of truth. <laughs> That's amazing! Hi, I'm Alexis Dubashnik, and today I'm going to make another retro recipe from a vintage Better Homes and Gardens cookbook, this time casserole edition. And today I'm gonna to make something really fun, creamed chicken in a confetti rice ring. I'm so excited to make this. This looks like a real showstopper. We're gonna start with the creamed chicken. Chicken and rice, a classic combination, kind of one of the most comforting combinations to me, and I have no reason to think that this won't be fantastic. Recipe calls for egg yolk, so I'll get those ready. Okay, I'm gonna wash my hands and save these egg whites for later. Okay, the other prep I have to do is chop this onion. So it says to cook the onion in butter, easy. And the recipe actually says that you can use butter or margarine. I mean, people still use margarine, but definitely not as commonly as they did in the 50s. While the onions cook, I'm gonna drain the mushrooms. I don't think I've ever used canned mushrooms. You know, it's the 50s, they love everything in cans. The onions smell amazing, they're super aromatic, and they're starting to soften, so I'm gonna add the flour in. And I just wanna cook the flour until it's fully incorporated, gets cooked off. It should be like a light golden brown. Okay, that looks perfect. Now the broth and the cream. And let's see, the seasonings. So the salt and the MSG, which is a real flavor enhancer. I've noticed MSG is used quite a bit in these old retro recipes and I'm a real fan of it, so I can't wait to use it in here. Now it just says to cook and stir until the mixture thickens. It doesn't give a time, but I'm guessing this is gonna take a few minutes because like, look how liquidy this is. So the recipe calls for using chicken or turkey, which is a great way to use up leftovers. You know, post Thanksgiving, you've got a ton of turkey left over. Okay, without any timing instruction, I think this is looking pretty thick. The egg yolks are gonna help thicken it, and it's also going to kind of thicken as it sits, so. And I'm just gonna use this to temper the egg yolks so that it doesn't curdle once it's added. In retrospect, I'm using the wrong spoon for this. Okay, here we go. <laughs> The recipe does say to just cook this for about a minute. It's interesting to me that this recipe is calling for flour, which is a binder, and the egg yolks. You know, often in recipes today, usually people would choose one or the other, and usually that would be flour. Okay, I'm gonna add my chicken and all those drained mushrooms. Could have used a bigger pot. The recipe doesn't call for this, but I'm just gonna transfer this to a bowl to let it cool down just a little bit. I have a feeling if I try to add this to the confetti rice ring, like right after, it's so hot that it'll, it'll just like ooze out. Okay, I'm gonna put this to the side, move on to the confetti rice ring. Okay, I've got some hot rice per tip in the book. It says using packed hot rice will help and mold it better. So let's see if that's true. Some melted butter. I think that's gonna help it kind of stick together. Pimentos for a little color. And again, some canned peas. Okay, this looks good. And then it just says to press it into a mold, so maybe I'll use this to kind of scoop it in. You don't butter the mold, but since there is already butter in the rice mixture, I think maybe that'll do the trick, I hope. I'm trying to move quickly so that the rice stays hot. Okay, and then it says to pack tightly. I think this actually is gonna work. I feel really, really confident. <sighs> okay, let's hope this works. Moment of truth. That's amazing! It totally looks like a wreath. And now my beautiful ring gets filled with the chicken. Ooh, okay, I'm a little worried. The chicken hasn't thickened up quite as much as I had hoped for, and I really hope it doesn't like push the rice out. In the photo, it looks like the chicken is kind of level with the rice, so I'm just gonna fill it up to there. I do think this is a fun idea. Like if you were having a dinner and you have you like pass this around, everyone kind of gets a scoop of the rice, they've got the chicken in it. It feels like festive. Okay, the only thing left to make this truly look like the photo is to add some curly parsley. I love it, my baby. <laughs> my pride and joy. <laughs> but I really can't imagine people serving this for a dinner, for something that feels celebratory, that feels special. Like you're probably not making this just for your family, but when you have people over you want to impress, this is the dish. Not really sure how to serve it. I was kind of thinking like a, like a pie. Rice is actually my favorite food. Chicken is delicious, how can this not be good? That was delicious. I mean, it's kind of exactly what I expected it to taste like. 
rice, delicious, creamy chicken, delicious. Some of that umami flavor happening from the MSG. All in all, I think this is a really successful dish. I was looking on Better Homes and Gardens to see a few ways to kind of modernize it. And I was thinking like, this is kind of reminiscent of a pot pie filling, you know, give or take a few ingredients. So I was thinking like a slow cooker chicken pot pie could be really delicious. Or even something like a chicken Alfredo and rice casserole. I mean, the chicken, the rice, you know, you've got all the components. But honestly, would eat again. I feel like if I served this at like a retro dinner party, like people would love it. Let me know in the comments if you would ever make one of these and what kind of filling you'd do. The world is your oyster.